So in fees, like kind of 0.43% down. So Infosys net profit surges, beats estimates. So good news is there, but markets are not largely reacting to that. Even yesterday also, I, I doubt whether it had reacted or not. So maybe we can ask the chat GPT to ask to do some sentiment analysis. Let's see what it says. Just give me a sec. You go to chat GPT. Do a sentimental analysis check and try to and try to rate the sentiment on the scale of uh, minus ten to ten, where ten uh, minus ten is extreme negative sentiment and ten is positive sentiment and zero is neutral sentiment. Based the information, it goes through the news and then it should be supposed to come up with an sentimental rating as well as explanation. It's been very lengthy. Anyways, we'll try to do that. There we go. The sentiment of this text is positive with a rating of 8 on a scale of minus 10 to 10. That means uh, the the earning announcement is strong, right? So the the text reports strong financial performance and growth of growth for Infosys, including a raise in net profit and revenue that exceeds estimates. Additionally, the company has a strong guidance for the future and mentions positive developments such as reduced attrition and large deal wins. So it's basically looking for some keywords and then mostly uh, it's doing a simple sentimental analysis check. Uh, the lot of Python libraries are there, which is capable of doing those stuff, right? So it's called blob or something, like text blob, which does uh, NLP analytics. But this is, uh, I can give inputs. I don't need to do programming these days. I can give an, uh, uh, what I, I can give some uh, commands in the form of human text. So the command, what I have given is like a, in a natural language or human language only I had given the command. I asked it to do a sentiment analysis check. That's what I had asked. Do a sentiment analysis check and try to rate the sentiment on a scale of minus 10 to 10. I can write a program to that. In fact, I already published a program in um, which extract the data from Twitter and then uh, analyze the sentiment. Uh, but that, that's for a short uh, articles. But for such a large articles also, it can do uh, such kind of uh, text analysis. But the thing here is like, uh, uh, I don't need to write a program anymore. And that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of ChatGPT. Anyways, so the Infosys Q3 results uh, is positive. That's what the weightage it, it's been saying over here. Eight on a scale means most of the uh, most of the analysis, most of the uh, text are indicating positive scenarios. That is what the fundamental analysis is saying, right? Uh, 